Energy transition has quickly become a dominant theme in the market, and Cowan has made energy transition a central focus of our research. We have many analysts covering both fossil fuel and energy transition companies, giving us a unique insight into the pace of transition and the convergence between old and new energies. We've recently enhanced this effort with added coverage in hydrogen, EV charging, batteries, next-gen materials, renewable fuels, grid services, and mobility solutions. Energy transition involves switching from a fossil fuel-based energy system to a zero carbon system powered by renewables and nuclear. To put things in perspective, about 80% of the world's energy comes from fossil fuels today. To achieve climate goals, that mix would need to fall to around 10% by 2050. Even if we use significant amounts of carbon capture, that mix would still need to fall from 80% today to around 50% by 2050. The investment required to make this transition is massive, with some estimates approaching $200 trillion over the next 30 years. That's about a 3x increase versus what we're spending on energy investments today. While the pace of spending and capital formation will be significant, integrating and ultimately replacing a baseload powered fossil fuel system with intermittent renewables is very complex and requires expertise in both old and new energies. Furthermore, the transition is incredibly disruptive with some companies entering terminal decline while other companies are just in their infancy. Natural gas and LNG will be important participants of transition. Integrated oils are investing in renewable energy companies and oil field service companies have important domain expertise that can be used in hydrogen, carbon capture, and offshore wind, to name a few. We think this environment is a fertile for investors to generate excess returns. I'm Mark Bianchi, Cowan's Energy Transition, Industrial Gas, and Oil Field Service Analyst.